Hi everybody, welcome back to the Livonia military bunker down on Dambog. As you can see, I've just um, just slipped inside with my punch card. And in this video, I want to show you how you can turn off the darkness to this bunker so that when you get here, you can kind of explore a little bit more easily so you don't have to worry about having um, a torch or a flaming torch or, or something like that. Now, it's important to state that this works for the Sakal sorry this works for the Livonia bunker but doesn't seem to work for the Sakal bunker it works for the Sakal caves so I think it's related to the fact that when you go into the Sakal bunker when the door closes behind you it then gets dark and that isn't something that works in the Livonia bunker so there's obviously some sort of other mechanic that happens uh, some sort of script that fires up the darkness when you're in the Sakal bunker that is done in a different way to the Livonia bunker. So anyway, so how do you turn the darkness off in the Livonia bunker? Well, what you want to do is you want to go to your um, server. Let's see if I can find the correct one. Now remember, I'm looking at this in the Windows File Explorer. So when you're looking at this, on your uh, remote server on the web it's going to look a bit diff look a bit different but what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be going down into the file browser and looking for the mp mission section so on xbox it's xb missions on pc it's mp missions with playstation it's ps missions you go in there and you'll see probably Chernerus, daisy offline Chernerus plus and daisy offline dot enoch so the enoch that's the livonia service so you go in there and the file we're interested in is funny enough the cfg underground triggers what i recommend you do is make a backup of that straight away that's going to be a copy of the vanilla so if something goes wrong or you simply want to turn the darkness back on you can just rename that one to cfg underground triggers get rid of the copy maybe you could use it what we always used to use was we used to put bak after the name so it'd be cfg underground triggers bak dot json but then you open up the file and then your one will look something like this and as you can see it has all the breadcrumbs and it has all the triggers that happen and all you need to do is make it look like this so you delete everything inside the uh, first square bracket to the last square bracket so it looks like this now unfortunately being a JSON you can't remark it out in the way that we do with XML so you make it look like that you then save that file you then restart your server and you'll find that the darkness has this does darkness disappear darkness doesn't really disappear does it light comes instead of darkness doesn't it the dark will be replaced by the light and there we have it we can now explore the Livonia bunker uh, nice and simply so there we go how easy is that I'm going to look into the Sakal side of things see if I can uh, work that out um, with a solution that will work on console as well as PC um, but there we go hopefully you found this useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course I'll see you all again soon